what's up you guys if you're new welcome to a brand new video my name is ivy and if you're not new welcome back uh today we are gonna do a q a it was trevor's birthday two days ago yeah two days ago <laughs> trevor is now how old are you 26 so i asked you guys if you wanted to ask us don't cheat if you wanted to ask us a couple questions so i figured we would do this together today what is something new you learned about yourself in the last year of life? I think living together here. I think different budgeting, different communication, different way of life. Because like everything was like, oh, let's go to the beach. And it's like five minutes down the road. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, so we're in Colleen. And the closest thing is an hour away. So I think yeah. it was like trying to make sure that me and you were always like, um, like had our date time and like had things to do and it was like it was an adjustment because what we used to do was like go to the beach and spend time together so I think it was just an adjustment of like being here was the biggest like learning curve mm -hmm. I think I agree I feel like life here has looked very different than our life in Hawaii and I'm trying to it's hard because like I feel like I was a certain type of way in Hawaii not saying that I'm super different now but just it's a different environment and my routine looks a lot different yeah. here it's not like whenever I was having like an off day my my comfort was to just like go to the beach or go and like sit on the beach and listen to the waves or get out of the house and go to like North Shore and stuff like that and obviously I can't do that here so I think in the last year, just learning how to navigate living in a new place. Obviously, if you guys are watching this, some of you guys are m military or your husband's in the military, your spouse, whatever. I know that moving can be really hard, getting adjusted to a new place, making friends, all of that stuff. So I think that, yeah, that was definitely a huge learning curve for both of us. Yeah. Do you see yourself living in Texas long term? I think that's a time slash us decision. I, cause I don't know if you guys know this, but Trevor's getting out of the military in the next year for sure. Yeah. And we kind of foresee ourselves staying in Texas. Obviously if there's other job opportunities, we'll move where wherever but for now i see us settling down in texas probably not forever but for the next time being yeah. i foresee that someone asked is there a reason you guys haven't had kids yet no there's not a specific <laughs> there's not like oh my gosh i never want kids type of thing we've just both always said like we just because we got married young didn't mean that we needed to have kids young because we got married when I was 20 and he was 21 and now he's 26 and I'm about to be 25 I'm still 24 until November but yeah that was kind of our thing that just because we got married super young didn't mean that we had to rush into having kids yeah that was just our personal decision to enjoy the beginning years of our marriage and to grow with each other rather than let's immediately have a child yeah we just wanted that time for ourselves yeah definitely this is an interesting question um how do you make intimacy work when you're apart from each other in the military this is a well-known thing you gotta make it work you make it work there's phone calls there's video calls you make it work you talk you I've talked to you guys about the fact that uh, the intimacy card deck has done us really well, especially because Define. we have it in our bedroom, but uh, basically it's a card deck and it has five different like sections. So especially I, for us at least, when Trevor's gone or when he has to go training or whatever, and he's gone for two weeks to a month, whatever it is, it helps us a lot because then it's hard to have like... A super deep conversation with your spouse when they're away because they're going through a lot out there and it's kind of like the same pretty for the most part mundane things every single day like they're doing their job out there but also doing things that are very like 
schedule based and there's not really a lot to talk about on a daily basis if your spouse is like away so what worked for us and i know that this has worked for a lot of people it's for my friend who her husband is a truck driver she used that because sometimes your conversations can get very routine like oh what did you do today oh i did blah 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 uh, what did you do today oh i did blah 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 how's the weather like very boring things so the intimacy card deck helped us a lot because then it gets us talking about deeper conversations. Actually, can you go grab it so we can just yeah. read them a couple of cards? This is the Intimacy card deck. It's from Best Self Intimacy. Also, I will link this down below. If I forget for some reason, tell me, and I will link it from Amazon. I literally saw it and just bought it without even telling yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> this was a like mini gift for Valentine's Day this year. Yeah, TikTok made me buy it gotta love tiktok yeah. but yeah this is the card deck and so when you open it up it's literally five different categories if you guys can see like the colors and stuff so there is there's what is this random the green one is life the gray one is past is relationship the red one is intimacy and then the dark blue is about you. So basically you have a really good array in here. Like, are these the ones we've done or are these the ones we've done? Okay, so about you, it can be on a scale of one to 10, how messy are you to live with? Like that's just one example. So this has helped a lot, especially like I said, when your significant other is away because it just keeps the conversation kind of like flowing because then you would have conversations that you wouldn't normally have or you guys can kind of joke around with yeah. stuff like that it doesn't allow it to get dull yeah so we used that when trevor was like training and stuff like that so that's just what we've found helps just to yeah. keep the conversation kind of interesting is trevor still deploying i don't know yeah we have no idea i have no idea biggest turn offs People with bad breath. <laughs> because Trevor has bad breath right now. What's your biggest turn off? It's what I do that turns me off. What do you do that turns me off? My gas. Oh yeah, Trevor Trevor has the worst flatulence yeah. issues. Like his... <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so gross. And I have to sit in here with you. You guys see what I have to deal with? You guys think he's so cute and he's so handsome and he's so giving. But then... Oh my god. <laughs> Trevor. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrible. Guys, you don't have to deal with him. He's great and dandy until you have to deal with him. What are some living habits you had to get rid of slash pick up to, accom to accommodate living together? Dirty clothes. What do you mean? You had to pick them up? Mm -hmm. Trevor's well, really, like, really, really bad. I, uh, yeah, I was bad at like... What? Because I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't, oh, like, I'm gonna throw them a dirty, I'm gonna throw them a dirty clothes here, and then I'm gonna throw all the clean clothes in the same spot. It was like, I would kind of organize a mess, in the best way of saying it. <laughs> but, um, no, it's still a work in progress. Um, no, what happened, I call it Hurricane Trevor, because every <laughs> single time he comes home, the house can be so clean. It really I clean can. the house all day. It can be so nice, it smells good, it's clean. But the second Trevor gets home, he just <laughs> throws everything everywhere. And it's not cute. Like, literally, I'm telling you, I will be cleaning the house all day. I have the table nice and, like, cleared off. It's nice. It just looks so sleek. Everything's in its place. As soon as he gets home, so he's just like, you're laughing because it's true, right? It really is. It, and then as soon as he gets home, he's gotten better. But he used to just take off his uniform and just leave it on the floor. I'm like, no, I live here too. No, like, no. no. I in washer. What did you learn about yourselves living so far away from family? Personally, not holding on to problems. Because I think that's when I really depended on like, hey, like I need to let things out. I don't need to bottle it up because I'm already like severely stressed about issues yeah and so coming to you i think was like a huge deal and that i think that's what really 
started opening up a lot of like communication was like you need to talk to me you need to like yeah i i don't know like i'm not a mind reader i don't know if something upset you throughout the day so you need to let me know if something's going on or like you're upset about something like i can't sit here and read your mind if you're upset i think for me my biggest takeaway and lesson that i learned about myself is I grew a lot of patience and I feel like we both we 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 can I grew a lot of patience yeah. because living with Trevor in the best way possible like he asks me to do something I do it right away I'm a very like like you ask me to do something I will I'm I'm on I'm a very prompt person yeah, so very, I'll do it very very, ca- very fast caring person yeah like if you need something from me I will do it automatically for Trevor that was a little bit of a learning curve because I yeah you're getting a lot better but like uh that was a little bit of a learning curve because I would ask him for something and it would take him like me three times to ask him so just patience and grace because we all have our own things that are important to us there's another big side of that coin for me, though. What do you mean? Balancing my time and our time. Yeah. Because, like, you know, I do enjoy playing video games, and so, like, I had to get out of the routine of, oh, I'm going to just spend six hours on this thing um, and not pay attention to you at all. It was like, in my head, it was like, no, I'd, I'd want somebody to want to spend time with me, too. Like, yeah, you have to cognitively make sure hey I need to stop this and make sure she's taken care of and if she just you know if she just wants to have her day where she watches YouTube does a video and you know you have your own time yeah then we yeah. we balance that and that's one of the big things or if it's like one of those days like we'll cook together or we'll do yeah. like an activity together or we'll watch a show like yeah. whatever that may be just being aware of each other yeah being more aware of like the time we're spending together Someone asked, was your first year of marriage hard? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was hard. Yes. Um, it's not that, it's, I don't see it as a joking matter. That's what, not why I'm laughing. It's. No, it was, was hard for both there, of us, but on, in different ways. Yeah, there was a lot to learn and a lot to grow and a lot to get out of. And Yeah. Yeah. It was more so like, it was hard in the sense where. We just got married, we moved across an ocean, and we were, this was our first time for both of us where we were alone. Like, this is like, we're alone, we have to deal with our problems by ourselves. So if like, we're having a disagreement, it's not like, oh, well, I'm going to my mom's house. Like, it (laughs) it doesn't work like that. So for us, it was a huge adjustment because we were learning how each other worked. Obviously, that was our first time yeah. living together. And I, like I said, he left his clothes on the floor. So I had to learn, like, okay, he leaves his clothes on the floor. But marriage is always give and take. It's always compromise. It's funny we just talked about that. Yeah, it's, it's always... You have, you both have to want to find a solution. So it's yeah. not e- us against each other. It's us against the problem. Yeah. So that I, that is big. I think it took us a long time to learn that obviously because we were really young and when you're that young and you get married, you don't know, well, you think you know everything, but you don't know everything. And yeah, it took us a while to learn that, but once we figured out that it was us against the problem and not us against each other, it helped a lot. And also, having very open communication. We always tell everybody that we're, like, over-communicators, so we over-communicate, like, how we're feeling, situations, whatever, and we'd rather have it that way than us under-communicate yeah. and not talk about like what's going on in our heads Yeah, because even one of our parents said that we have better communication than 50 year olds yeah so well some 50 year olds some yeah some yeah so it's just all about communicating with each other and feeling where each other are at do we watch football trevor's not a football person i used to watch football religiously with my mom so i was like 
the girl that was like, go, 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 go. Like, I was, like, super loud when I watched football, but Trevor... Okay. It's not that I won't. Because I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll get into the game, no problem. I think, I just got up, I was just busy doing other things. I wasn't really watching football that much. Are we doing a birthday vlog? We vlogged a very little bit of his birthday, yeah. but his birthday was... It just didn't go as planned, which is fine. That's... That's fine. That's a lot, but everything is fine. <laughs> We're fine. It actually wasn't anything like with us. It was just like outside stuff that was going on. So yeah. no, we vlogged a little bit of it. Literally, I probably only have like five or six minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say five, ten minutes. It was, it was, it was not a lot. But we did end up going to the big quick lots warehouse. We're gonna have to go on a day that they actually restock. We went on like the two dollar day. Nothing. They had stuff. They just didn't have stuff that he was looking for. Oh, yeah. Dream vacay destination. Also, everybody tells you happy birthday. Yeah, Italy. Italy? I, I think Italy, too. Really? Italy. I've talked about this forever. I yeah. want to go to Italy. I, I, don't know, I thought you would say, like, London or something. A Pewi. No. Stop. <laughs> no, I've been wanting to go to Italy, like, forever. Or Greece. I've wanted to go to Greece forever. Stop. Someone asked this, and this is going to actually be the last question. How are y'all able to travel so much during the week? I take a lot of leave. So, yeah. can I explain that for like Yeah, go minutes? ahead. So, um, yeah. Let's get into this one. Um, over two, three years, I never took leave. Well, we lived barely. in Hawaii. Yeah, I barely took leave. Um, so when I got here, my chain of command was like, why do you have so many days of vacation time? I was like... Because it would be either A, got denied it, or B, just never took it. So, um, I got here, and they're like, you need, you need to take your days. You have way, you have way too many. You need to yeah. take them, or you're going to lose them. So, yeah. that's how that works. So, I was like, all right, well, five days here. You, a month worth of time, you earn another two and a half days. So, I spend five days off in a month, yeah. and then we have four-day weekends, and then, oh, the next month, I've already earned another two and a half of those back, and they're like, all right, we'll just take another five. Yeah. So I've just been kind of like, I've kept doing that. Yeah, so basically, when we lived in Hawaii, we never really felt the need for him to take leave because we lived in Hawaii. Yeah. It's not like we couldn't, like, pick up and go do things on the weekend. Like, we were always somewhere doing something, unless yeah. we were just having a chill weekend. But for the most part, we were always doing something. So it just didn't make sense for us for him to keep taking leave. Obviously, if family came or something like that, like I think you took, actually, no, I don't think you took leave on your birthdays over there. So he just had a lot of leave. So that's why we travel during the week. I, I know probably a couple people were like, well, how are they in Dallas this week? And da 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 da. <laughs> but it's literally just because Trevor has a lot. Of leave days so yeah. they told him he has to use them so he takes leave like every month basically and yeah that's pretty much it for our Q&A yeah. I love you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new I hope you stick around and join my little family I love you and I will see you super soon in a vlog